for number 12, you need the distance formula, which is the square root of x minus x. So let's do 6 minus 3, quantity squared, plus y minus y. So 3 minus negative 1 squared. So what is that? 3 squared is 9. 3 minus negative 1 is 4. That's the square root of 25, which gives you 5b. Okay, 13, um, f of c plus 2 means for f of x, you have 5x, 5x plus 3 over x plus 5. So now everywhere you see an x, you're going to put in a c plus 2. Okay, so f of c plus 2, I'm just going to scribble that out, equals 5 times c plus 2 plus 3 over c plus 2, and I could put parentheses around it if I wanted to, but it's not necessary, plus 5. It was here so that I would distribute through. So that's 5c plus 10, and then we still have our plus 3 and then c plus 7, and then combine like terms. So 5c plus 13 over c plus 7. In a standard coordinate system, um, this is in the form of y equals mx plus b, where this is your y-intercept, and this is your slope. So it is a line, and because the slope is negative, that means you would be counting down 3 over 1 from a y-intercept of 6. So uh, it's the line is falling to the right. Okay, the area of this rectangle is going to be the base times the height. The base here is 0.3, and the height is going to be f of 0.4. So I'm going to pause this and get my answer on the calculator. Okay, so when you plug 0.4 into that equation, you get 0.4 squared minus 3 times 0.4 plus 5 gives you 3.96. That's the height, and then times the base. So let me do times 0.3, and my answer is 1.188. Okay, the quantity P minus Q is a factor of how many of the following? Well, this is p minus q, p plus q. This does not factor. It's the sum of two squares. This is p minus q and then times p squared plus pq plus q squared. And this is the sum of two cubes. So it would be p plus q times a trinomial. So p minus q is going to be p minus q, p minus q, a factor of two of these. Okay, the rectangle, uh, rectangle S is formed from R by multiplying each of the sides of the rectangle R by 3. Uh, what is the area of the portion of S lying outside R? Okay, so R has a width x and a length y. Eh, I think I'd rather make this y and this x. Okay, so again, s is formed by multiplying each of the sides by 3. So this is 3x, this is 3y. Uh, the portion of s lying outside is this part. So you just want to take the area of the whole thing, and the area of the whole thing is 3x, times 3y, and subtract from it the area of the inside. So 9xy minus xy gives you 8xy. This inequality, uh, if you have a, an absolute value less than or equal to, then you want to set up a compound inequality like this. If that was a greater than or equal to, it would have been greater than or equal to 2, or less than or equal to negative 2, okay? But as it is, this was a 
less than or equal to. So now just add 7 to everything. And you end up with 5 is less than or equal to x is less than or equal to 9. The length of a rectangle is 3 meters more than twice its width. So let w be your variable. So the length is 3 more than twice its width. What is the width of the rectangle if the perimeter is 90? So if you add two lengths, plus two widths, you're going to get 90. I'm running out of room here. So what is this? 4w plus 6 plus 2w equals 90. I'll maybe leave you to write out the rest of the step. 6w plus 6. Uh, subtract the 6. 6w equals 84. And 84 divided by 6 is 14. And that is the width. We're getting W equals 14, so just be careful that you're answering the right question, and we are. Okay, uh, this function has a maximum value at C. If the Y value at C is less than all surrounding Y values, or less than or equal to all surrounding Y values, the domain of this function goes from 0 to 5. Domains are X values. Which of, at which of the numbers does the function appear to have a maximum? So it appears to have a maximum right here, which seems to be at 4. Uh, which best represents the graph of y equals cosine? Well, hopefully you guys have memorized this much of the cosine graph. Okay, This is 0, this is pi halves, pi, 3 pi halves, 2 pi. So we're looking at it between negative pi halves and pi halves, which means because it's periodic, this is going to come back down here. So that's this one. Cosine squared theta equals 1. Let's solve that equation. Cosine squared theta equals 1. Okay, I'm going to switch colors here. What I was going to do was solve the equation until I looked at the choices. These choices just want an equivalent expression. So remember the Pythagorean identity, right? And then just do what they want. They want it cosine squared minus 1. So I'm going to have to kick this over. Cosine squared theta minus 1 equals negative sine theta. Where is that A? Okay, 23, f of x equals cosine 3x. So what is f of pi 6? That equals cosine of 3 times pi 6, which is the same as the cosine of pi halves, which, if you pull it off of this graph right here, is 0. Okay, 24. For which of the following <coughs> is uh, cosecant x not defined? We'll remember, hopefully, that sine and cosine are reciprocal functions. That means if you take the easy values, like where sine is 1, which is at pi halves, what's the reciprocal of 1? It's 1. What's the reciprocal of 0? It's undefined. So every, everywhere the uh, sine function is 0, the cosecant is going to be undefined. And that's at 0, at pi, at 2 pi, at negative pi. These are all places where your cosecant is going to be undefined. Uh, which is the question, actually? For which of the following is this not defined? Any integer multiple of pi gives me one of these values where the cosecant has an asymptote. Okay, and then let's look at 25. Okay, for this, hopefully you know all of your trig identities. Let me grab a different color. Okay, so secant squared 
Secant is 1 over cosine. Um, so secant squared is going to be 1 over cosine squared. Now we want times cotangent. We could change cotangent to, what is it, cosine over sine. And then we can change, well, leave cosine. And if you remember from trig, when in doubt, turn everything into sines and cosines. Okay, so now this cosine cancels out with one of these. And the other cosine, thought I grabbed a different color. The other cosine cancels out with the other cosine. And all you're left with is 1 over sine theta which equals cosecant.